Oh my goodness, guys, I never see anything like this before. Oh my god, this is looking disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, uh, okay. Uh, oh my god. For more videos like this, please subscribe. YouTube, Troy Stars, Troy Stars Trucking. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and uh, change our AC filter cab and cab it's two filter one for the cab and one for the bunk right the for the ac right so we're going to change in this video we're going to change the ac filter on the mac pinnacle 2015 truck now let's we're not going to take long with this video so we're going to go jump right into it i will tell you guys the part number or leave it in the description but we're going to go pretty much make a fast one okay so the first uh filter is gonna be in this panel right here so i'm gonna remove this uh panel and we're gonna change the filter that is in there at the moment and we're gonna put a new one in it and the next one is gonna be underneath around where the bunk area is so we're gonna lift the bed up and then we're gonna take care of it at that section so in this video you notice i'm sweating because i turned the truck off just to complete this task so we're going to finish up this video thanks for tuning in try to start trucking so i'm going to go for my two pan okay peeps so we're going to get started so uh we're going to remove these uh four uh we call this uh screws just the um so you already know this uh splice key that we we use to uh deal with the e-log so this is what size is this? Uh, T27. We're gonna use the T27 and we're gonna remove all the, the four screws from this panel. Okay, so now that we remove all four screws, we're gonna move away this panel here. And you can see there's a lot of dust and dirt behind this thing. So we're gonna. Um, uh, look where this uh, filter is take it out and replace it with the new one okay guys so we gotta pull and uh, remove these two sockets here our, our screw also with this uh, what is this T15 this is a T15 uh, so we're gonna remove this screw to get to where the filter is so yeah Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here, but this seems like, oh my goodness, guys, I never see anything like this before. So this is the old filter, and what I was, I did my research and I was uh, looking and I realized that this blue thing is actually, this is so, also sold by Mac, but if they don't have this blue one, they will also give you the white one that I have already. But this looks like something can wash and reuse, right? But for now, I'm gonna put in the new one and I'm gonna wash this one out and keep it because it, 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 it look reusable or uh, just to, you know, have an idea how, how it work, if it work better than this one. But as you can see underneath here is like a lot of dust and I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it out, you know what I mean? I'm gonna get my rag and water and do some cleaning in, in here and then put, put back a new filter in and then like clean up this one like I said to you guys so yeah guys thanks for tuning in you know it's a boy Troy Star Trucking like I said this is the oh my god this is looking disgusting <laughs> but yeah uh, okay uh, oh my god okay all right 
guys um let's get to work okay guys so i went in the truck stop and i get um myself i ha already have my bucket that i carry with me in the truck so i get some water inside there and i have my soap here and i have this is uh spray nine which i don't really need it but i'm just gonna use it to you know do it do some finish up so this is the new one that i'm gonna put in there and the old one that came out is this one i i dusted off just dusted, dusted for a bit but i'm gonna put the new one in and i'm gonna put the old one in the back in the in the in the, the, the the one that the new one comes in and this is how the cover look that came off the so i'm gonna wash this off in the water and stuff like that uh i'm assuming that's the same thing we're gonna see under the bunk but let's not let's go look and this is how inside inside here look i'm gonna just see how best i can wipe the area off because it's not looking so so it's not looking so good so I'm gonna clean the hair off my arm and then uh, see if I can fig uh, figure out what, what next to do. And this is the inside of the panel that we take off the covering. That's how it looks. So yeah, let's just clean up and start our journey. Okay guys, so I finished cleaning out. Uh, this is what I've done. Um, I finished uh, just clean, just, uh, just wipe up what, what I can see. You know what I mean? Is that everything is gonna be super clean. But that's what I've done. Clean out to you know where I feel comfortable with, and this is the pieces that was full of dust and what I washed it off. And this is the the inside of the piece that we took off. So I'm just gonna uh, put in the new the new one now. So this is the new filter. As you can see, it says this side airflow up okay so we're gonna put it in is this the right way to put it in airflow oh so it oh so the flow if the airflow come down so we're gonna put it like this okay so we put it in Hold on, let me go inside. So this is in, it's inside. So we're gonna put the this piece on there. Okay, so it fit fit perfect as you can see it's all fit inside the slot so we're gonna put the, the, the screws back in and that's it we complete the first air filter or I should say the the front of the cab air filter so for the AC so we complete this one as you can see right right there press to remove air filter and whatnot so that's where the blue one came from so yeah gonna screw it up now put it all back together okay peeps so this is it I finished uh, fitting up this side so we're gonna go in the bunk to finish up with that AC filter cab or bunk filter for the AC so yeah yes guys I'm inside the cab I'm sweating as usual because as you know it's hot it's the summer mm. make sure you have a, a wet face make sure you have a wet face cloth cloth guys <laughs> You should get a wet face cloth uh, when you're doing something like this in the summer. So yeah, I'm inside the cab, extremely hot, but uh, what I'm gonna do next is lift the bed up and we're gonna look for the filter that is inside the cab. 
so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna uh, replace that this filter with a new one also so let's go ahead guys and look and see what this look like so thanks for tuning in trust us if you guys don't know how to remove the bed or to lift the bed up i'm gonna show you guys a simple way how to do it um right here you have a pin that you pull when you pin, pull the pin you have to lift the bed up at the exact time and what happened what the bed is gonna like rise up in here but this is like a pin you pull out and the bed will release hey guys so this is round under the bunk under the bed so to speak I, I did leave one of the pocket open so I can actually get a good uh, fresh air coming here when I lift it up so yeah so we're gonna look for the filter which the filter should be somewhere at one of hold on guys let, let me let me see if I can I can find this filter for the the cabin uh, peeps oh my goodness and no I did I didn't throw water on myself and no I didn't uh, take a shower in the truck oh man I don't know if you want to call it shower but oh i'm sweating because i couldn't i was trying to uh find where the filter go in under the bunk right for the for the in cap filter because the but the volvo truck you know you, you, you just move a slight column column thing and then you can put the filter in and that's okay but in this case i get inside this red dock thing here this box thing is all my sweat here um i pull it by moving away the clips from the end because i, I was looking for where this filter should go in for the in cab but there's no um nothing in here it's just where the breeze suck in uh, it suck from this side and it blow from this side but after i get inside here and look in the filter go on the outside but it's just the housing is there only these uh these slot right here this is just the housing only so it didn't have a filter in it uh maybe the guy throw away the filter or something and here's where it it come back through but i can see like there's a filter slot on the outside here also so this is very like tricky i, I didn't uh i wasn't planned for this one at all but yeah um it seems like the the, the the it sucked the dust from this side as you can know here is dust clean and this side is like filthy so it was sucking from here because there's no filter coming out here maybe going through there and blowing in all over inside the truck now you see why it's important to check your cap filter because this dust is circulating inside this truck and oh man so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one of the filters in this slot, even though I don't know if, if, if it come with a cage or not. So I'm just going to put one of, slide one of the filters in here. Maybe, maybe I washed out the blue one that I took from that one and just put it in there. You know what I mean? Or use one of these new one if it can fit and put it in the slot there because I don't see any other way a filter should, uh, where a filter can go. But I'm hoping it, that it work and basically that's it so i'm gonna clean up inside here and i'm gonna put a filter right here and also there's a piece that i removed from this section that that will come through this part here there's a piece that i removed from here i'm gonna put it back shortly oh here it is um this piece i'm gonna put it back shortly so yeah guys um i removed the top of this because i was just looking oh man but anyway, I did I did some job. I did a good job. I'm gonna put the filter in there and I'll get back to you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Try start. Okay, so this is final. Um, I'm not gonna say this is how it should be done, but just by thinking and looking over what's going on underneath the bunk and the amount of dust that was blowing through the vents, um, I just still put the filter right in the slot even though it doesn't have uh 
current like for more videos like this please subscribe